Welcome back to Flow Fanatic. Today's day number 15 of 25. We're on a 25 day journey solving 25 different Salesforce challenges with flows. A quick reminder to sign up for our daily challenges and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below. Let's go ahead and dive into the solution for yesterday's challenge. So as a quick reminder, yesterday's challenge was around creating a roll-up summary field on the account record that rolled up the total number of contacts. There were two parts to the challenge. The first part was around getting that functionality to work anytime a new contact was created. The second piece of the challenge was around getting it to work not only when a new contact was created, but also when an edit occurred to the contact record that changed which account it was associated with. So what I mean by that is you have a contact in your database. They're currently associated with Forbes company. And now they move to a new company. The contact record isn't being deleted. There's not a new contact being, record being created, but instead there's a field being updated, which is the account field. And all that's being done is it's being transferred to a new account. So the functionality for yesterday's challenge work for both of those scenarios. Let's go ahead and dive in and build this out. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna click on the gear icon, set up. A quick file for flow. I'll select flows. Click on new flow. We're going to click on record triggered flow. Auto layout beta. All right, we actually have one more step that we need to do before we get into the flow, which is we need to create that field to house the number of contacts associated with the account. So let's jump back here for a second. We'll click on object manager. We'll come onto the account object, fields and relationships, new. All right, and then we're going to look for a number field. Click next. I'm going to call this contacts. Click next. Click next and save. Right. So let's come back to the flow builder. Let's actually just refresh that. Click on record triggered flow, auto layout beta. All right, so. We're going to build this out in a way that it's going to work for both part one and part two, but we'll start with just part one. So we'll come in here. We're going to change this to a record is created or updated, right? Because we want it to work for both scenarios. And then we'll make sure after the record is saved is selected. So we'll click done. We'll choose the object. So which object is causing this to fire? Well, anytime a contact record is created, so we want to select contact. And we're going to select none for condition requirements. All right, so we specified the object. So now we want to say, okay, when it is a new contact, we do this. So we're going to click on the plus. We're going to scroll down to decision. We're going to say, is this a new contact? Is this a new contact? A new true is the label. And how do we determine whether or not this contact's new? Well, the contact prior ID will be equal to null, right? So prior to be, being saved in the database, there's no ID. So that's how we know that it is a new contact. Go ahead and click on done. All right, so our next step is if this is new, okay, we wanna go in out and basically count all the contacts that are associated with this account. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. We know it's a new contact. If we know it's a new contact, what we want to do is we want to go out. We want to say, Salesforce, give us all the contact records that are associated with this account. Then we're going to count those records. And then we're going to populate, or we're going to update the account field with that new value. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to say, get records. I'm going to say, get contacts. Under the description, I'm going to say get contact records associated with the account. All right. So I want to get contact object. All right. And I want to get all the contacts whose account ID is equal to the account ID on the current contact record. Okay. I want to get all the records. I'll click done. All right. So we go out, we get that collection. And now we want to take the total number of records and assign that into a variable. So there are actually two ways people tried to do this. One was they got this collection and then they basically looped through each. Then they looped through the collection and each time incremented the number by one, right? Which would allow you to count the number of items in the collection. There's an easier way to do that. We can come in here, we'll click on plus. 
scroll down, we're gonna click on assignment. We're gonna say assign uh, contact account. So we'll come in here and we're actually gonna create a new variable, new resource. We're gonna call that resource variable count of Select a number field, give it zero decimal places, select done. And then we're gonna say equals the count of this record collection variable, click done. All right, final step is we wanna go ahead and update the account record, update account. Record. All right, so we're gonna specify conditions we're gonna select what object, it's the account object. Which account? Well, it's the one where the account ID is equal to the account ID that's found on the contact record. What value are we pushing to the database? Well, we're gonna update the number of contacts with the count of contacts. We'll click done. So let's just review what we just did at a high level. A contact gets created and okay, we come to this decision. It says, is the contact new? Yes, it's new. We just created it. Great. We're going to go down this path. We're going to go out and query the database. And Salesforce is going to give us a collection of all the contacts associated with that given account record. Then we're going to go ahead and assign the count or the total records to a variable called count of contacts. And then we're going to update the account, that field that we created before called contacts, with that number. Okay. So that's step one. Let's go ahead and make sure this works. We'll save this. We're going to call this contact after save on create or edit record. Save, click activate. All right, let's come back to the accounts, come to our sales app, click on accounts. On all accounts, on Burlington Textiles, click on details. All right, let's see if we can find our contacts number. Okay, so it's blank right now. Well, that's not correct, right? That's okay. Reason being is this is going to work moving forward as opposed to retroactively, okay? Now you could go ahead and do a data load. You could run a scheduled uh, flow to go ahead and update all these records. There's a number of ways to get the old data to be reflective, um, but for now, we know that's okay. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to create a new contact. Smith. Okay, go ahead and click save. Come back to details. We'll scroll down and we can see that now it's showing there's two contacts. Okay, and again, what it did is it went out. It said, "Hey, which contacts in Salesforce are currently associated with this account, the Burlington Textiles Corp?" Then we assigned the value to this field. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down. All right, so we can see our contacts field. It's two, it's reflected now of both contact records. Um, so this is all really good news. The problem is right now, if we go ahead and change this contact to another account, nothing's gonna happen, okay? So what we wanna do is we're gonna come back into our flow. We need to create kind of some new outcomes, right? What if the contact is not new, okay? Well, if they're a existing contact, right, and the record was just edited, what we want to decide is, do we actually need to do anything, right? Because if I come in and I change the title of the contact, I don't need to go and update the number of contacts field. That, that doesn't matter, right? There's no change that's occurred that would warrant updating that field. So what I'll do is I'll come in and I need another decision. If it's not a new contact, we also need to decide, was there a change to the account field? So I'm going to say account field change. Say account field changed true. All right. So how do we determine if the account was changed, meaning a contact is now moving to a different company? Come down. We'll click on record prior. Account ID does not equal account ID. Right. So record prior for account ID is different, right, than the record account ID. Go ahead and click done. All right, so if it's not a new contact, meaning we're making an edit, and the account field was changed, then we wanna go and we need to do a couple things, okay? 
Okay, so the next step is we wanna go ahead and get all the contacts related to the old account record. We wanna do the same thing and assign that to account variable. And then we wanna go ahead and update the old account. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna click on the plus. We're gonna do a get records. We're gonna say get contacts old account. Say contact, we're gonna say get those whose account ID is equal to record prior account ID. We're gonna say store all records. All right, now we're ready to assign that. So we're gonna click on assignment and we're gonna say assign uh, old, old account contacts total. Come in here, we're gonna create a new resource. We're gonna call this resource old account contact. I'm gonna set this to number, zero decimal places and hit done. We're gonna do equals count. The contacts from get accounts from old, hit done. And then we're gonna go ahead and update this. So update old account. Which account is it? Well, we need the account object. We need the account whose ID is equal to the prior record, account ID. And we're gonna set the contacts field equal to the old account, x total, click done. Okay, so now we're ready to merge these two together. So we're gonna turn the auto layout beta off Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. We're gonna drag these down just so it looks a little cleaner. All right, and we're gonna drag it down just a little more. All right, so zoom in. So once we, if we go down this path, meaning the contact is new, we're gonna go out and get the contacts associated with the account. We're going to assign the account, and then we're gonna update the contacts fields on the account record. The contact is not new and the account field is changed, then we're gonna go out and get the contacts associated with the old account. We're gonna store that in a variable. We're then gonna update the old account. And then we wanna run that same functionality for the new account. So we're gonna loop back to here. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna come back into Salesforce and this time I'm gonna pull up the contact record. I'm gonna pull up Alex Smith. And I'm gonna click on detail. Okay, and I'm gonna change his account to Dickinson PLC. All right, so let's go to Dickinson PLC. Dickinson PLC has two contacts. Let's just confirm we have Alex Smith and Andy Young. Great. Now let's go back to the old account. Click on Burlington Textiles, click on details, and we can see there's one contact. Great, so it's working. So you may be wondering, well, this is great. This works on create, it works on edit, but what about when a record's deleted? So this was part one of the challenge and it did not concern deleting records. Part two for another day will be around deleting those records. Unfortunately though, there's not actually a way right now declaratively to get that number to be truly reflective when we delete records. If we are deleting one record at a time through the user interface and the data is not being bulkified, it will work with what's called a before save on delete record triggered flow. However, if you go ahead and try and delete 25 records at a time, the field will not be accurate. What I would ask you to do is try and build this out and try and figure out why the data, why that roll up field is not accurate and go ahead and send that over as a message. Good luck.